Um, Ludo in Ghent, Belgium. Okay. <laughs> hey, Paul, you talk a lot about wide soundstage and flat off-axis response, and I, I get it that it makes a ton of sense, especially for casual listening, but how do I know if a speaker really has that? Are there specific measurements or specs to look for, or is it something I can only determine by listening and moving around the room? You know, that's a great question, and you might have to do it by listening. Most manufacturers don't publish their on and off axis response curves. We do, but that's because we have <laughs> really great even response, right? Now, an increasing number of guys who have Great, and, and so let, let's, let's go, you know, what does this all mean? Well, this speaker produces sound that comes out in a wave, right? And if it's, when you measure it, you, and you can, almost every speaker manufacturer measures their flatness, right? They'll say from uh, 40 hertz to 20 kilohertz, it is flat to within 4 dB, <clears throat> and that's plus or minus. And, and remember, when you see 3 dB, 4 dB, what, whatever it is, that's plus or minus. So even if it's really good, like plus or minus 3 dB, which is pretty darn good for a speaker, that means it can be up 3 here and down 3 here, which is a total of 6 dB. That's a lot. But that's just the nature of speakers. The question is, how narrow of an area, how is it just, because that's what they do, is they stick a microphone right in front of the speaker and they measure that. Well, what happens when you put the microphone over here? What happens when you put the microphone over there? Is it still flat? Because you're hearing that. Well, on most speakers, no, it is not flat. It is way off, and that's why speakers get... Um, towed in or towed out, right? Because, you know, you can turn these things like this and point them at you. I don't even know if this is in the, in the camera, uh, in the picture, but you can tow them towards you or not. Now, in Aspen speakers, we put them straight forward because they have this flat uh, response that comes in a wide coverage area. And that gives this huge wide sound stage that people just marvel over. Most speakers don't have that, so you gotta tow them in and get that, and you lose that width on that. Most reviewers who measure speakers will show that, and you can look for those. So if you can find a review, uh, the guys over at uh, Hi-Fi News, um, Paul Miller, whoever is measuring it, uh, used to be John Atkinson, I don't know who does it, Stereophile now, but those, are usually great resources to find out if it's flat on axis and off axis and how wide, because how wide, I mean, it could be up to 180 degrees. These are, are flat to about 150, which is pretty darn good, very rare. So yeah, you can do it by listening. It's if you can point them straight and you still get a great center image, you probably have a good set of speakers for that. So, all right, hope that helps. Good luck with that.